Hi friends, I'm teacher Chris and I'm going to read a story called The Seasons of Arnold's Apple Tree by Gail Gibbons. In our twos class, we've been talking about apples and apple trees and how Arnold's apple tree changes with every season. It changes in the fall, the winter, the spring, and the summer. So this is The Seasons of Arnold's Apple Tree. Arnold climbs up high into the branches of the apple tree. He can see far, far away in every direction. Ooh, he's up pretty high. This is Arnold's very own secret place. This is Arnold's apple tree. Arnold's tree keeps him very busy all through the year. It is spring. Arnold watches the small buds grow on the apple tree. Some of the buds develop into sweet smelling apple blossoms. You can see he's in this tree and there's little pink flowers all around. Carefully and quietly, Arnold watches bees collect nectar from the blossoms to make honey. There he is, and I can see all the little bees. Look, here it is. There's a bee in this beautiful pink apple blossom. Arnold makes a swing for his apple tree. Look, he gets wood and rope, and he ties it and swings. I love that. That looks like fun. He weaves an apple blossom wreath and hangs it from the branches. So there he is. And he hangs it up for decoration. And he picks armfuls of apple blossoms and brings it to his family so they can make a flower arrangement in their house. That must smell really nice. It is summer. Arnold's apple tree has big green leaves that rustle in the wind. So now all the blossoms are gone and it's just big fluffy. There's his wreath. Arnold builds a tree house. So look, he brings some wood and a hammer and he builds a little tree house. His apple tree shades him from the hot summer sun. The green leaves shelter him during a summer shower. So he's staying cool and dry. Arnold watches small apples begin to grow from where the blossoms used to be. So they're not quite ready to eat yet, but there's some apples growing and they get bigger and bigger and bigger. Arnold does a juggling act for his tree. And look, I think the season is about to change because I see some of those green apples turning red. It is fall. Arnold's apple tree now has big, red, tasty apples. Oh, look, he's even eating one. Look, oh, there's his wreath. The green leaves have turned golden and they drift to the ground. So they're not green anymore. And look, it's autumn, so all the leaves are falling down. Arnold gathers some of the leaves and brings them up to his tree house to make a soft floor. There he is on the soft floor and Arnold shakes the branches and red apples fall to the ground. He picks them up, puts them in a basket and brings them home. Do you think he's gonna eat them? Or will he make a pie like we sing about? 10 little apples in his pie, let's see. Arnold and his family make apple pies from the apples. So there they're peeling them and baking Look, they even included a recipe in this book. They put the rest of the apples in a cider press and make fresh apple cider. So look, they're gonna put them in and squeeze it and out comes delicious apple juice. On Halloween day, Arnold decorates some of the biggest apples. So look, he's painting silly faces on the big apples and they glow in the moonlight under his tree on Halloween night. Look, what did he dress up as? He looks like he's a pirate. 
It is winter. The snow begins to fall. It is quiet. And the branches of Arnold's apple tree are bare. So if you look, all the leaves have fallen off and he's playing in the snow. Look, there's his sled and he's got all his snow gear on. It must be cold. Arnold hangs strings of popcorn and berries on the branches for the winter birds. So look, those birds now can come and they have popcorn to eat and little berries. He builds a snow fort and a snowman. So there's a snow fort. See how he's rolling the balls, building a fort. And then Arnold builds that snowman to keep him company. There he is. He even uses some of the leaves he saved for hair. The snow melts away and it is springtime again. So look at the snow starts melting. Snowman's all gone. And look what's coming onto the leaves again. The branches have green leaves and beautiful pink buds. And this tree's gonna start all over again. It'll be springtime and then summer and winter and fall. So we made some really cool trees to show that. So look, when we end it, here's our springtime tree. It's got the pink blossoms on it and little green leaves. And then it starts to get warmer and it's summer. And you can see it's so big and full of green leaves and there's a few green apples starting to grow. And as it cools down and turns to fall, the leaves begin to change colors and now there's big red juicy apples on our tree. And after we eat all those apples up, the snow starts to fall, all the leaves are gone and it's winter time at our apple tree. And look, there's even a little snowman. And when the snow melts, it'll start all over again into spring. Well, thank you for reading the seasons of Arnold's apple tree with me and I'll see you soon. Bye friends.